You might have heard about probiotics being good for your gut health, but did you know they can also help with blood sugar control and diabetes management? That's right! These good bacteria can help balance glucose levels, ease, improve insulin sensitivity, and potentially reduce the risk of developing diabetes. So, if you're looking to take charge of your health, stick around as we explore some probiotics that could be game changers for blood sugar levels. According to the CDC, diabetes has nearly tripled in the last two decades. It's a serious health concern that affects millions worldwide, leading to complications like heart disease, kidney failure, and nerve damage. High blood sugar levels can be a silent killer, and many people don't even realize they have it until it's too late. That's why it's crucial to find effective management strategies. Diet, exercise, and medication are often the go-to methods. But what if there's a more natural way to support your body's blood sugar balance? Enter probiotics. These little warriors might just hold the key to better management of diabetes. Number one, Saccharomyces boulardii, kombucha. Kombucha, a fermented tea known for its tangy flavor and effervescence, is more than just a refreshing drink. It's a powerful source of Saccharomyces boulardii, a probiotic yeast that can play a significant role in lowering blood sugar levels and fighting diabetes. This ancient brew, often touted for its various health benefits, has gained attention for its potential impact on metabolic health. The magic of Saccharomyces. Says, Boulardi lies in its ability to positively influence gut health. The gut microbiome is a complex ecosystem where probiotics like Saccharomyces boulardii thrive, and its balance is crucial for overall health. This probiotic has been shown to enhance insulin sensitivity, which is vital for effective blood sugar management. For those with diabetes, where blood sugar control is a constant challenge, the effects of Saccharomyces boulardii can be particularly beneficial. This probiotic has been shown to enhance insulin sensitivity, which is vital for effective blood sugar management. Improved insulin sensitivity means that the body can better manage glucose levels, reducing the likelihood of the spikes and crashes that are so problematic in diabetes management. Kombucha itself, when made properly, offers a low-calorie, low-sugar option that can be easily incorporated into the daily diet. Unlike some other probiotic-rich foods, kombucha is enjoyed as a drink, making it a convenient and enjoyable way to support gut health and, in turn, blood sugar control. You can sip it straight from the bottle or pour it over ice for a refreshing beverage. For a different twist, kombucha can be mixed into smoothies, adding a probiotic boost to your morning routine. It can even be used as a base for salad dressings, offering a tangy flavor that complements a variety of dishes. Number two, Lactobacillus acidophilus, sauerkraut. Lactobacillus acidophilus, a beneficial probiotic found in sauerkraut, plays a crucial role in managing blood sugar levels and combating diabetes. This probiotic works by improving gut health, which is directly linked to metabolic processes, including glucose regulation. When consumed regularly, Lactobacillus acidophilus helps to balance the gut microbiome by increasing the population of beneficial bacteria. A healthy gut microbiome enhances the body's ability to metabolize carbohydrates, leading to more stable blood sugar levels. This is particularly important for individuals with diabetes, as it can reduce the frequency and severity of blood sugar spikes. Furthermore, Lactobacillus acidophilus has been shown to improve insulin sensitivity. Insulin is the hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels, and enhanced sensitivity means that the body can more effectively utilize insulin to manage glucose in the bloodstream. By supporting better insulin function, this probiotic can help reduce the risk of insulin resistance, a common issue in diabetes. Incorporating sauerkraut into your diet as a natural source of Lactobacillus acidophilus may offer a simple yet effective way to support blood sugar management and fight against the progression of diabetes. Number three, Lactobacillus casei, kefir. Kefir, a fermented dairy product with a rich, tangy taste, is more than just a creamy beverage. The secret behind kefir's benefits lies not just in the probiotics it contains, such as Lactobacillus casei, but also in the unique way this food interacts with the body to support overall metabolic health. Kefir is made by fermenting milk with kefir grains, a mixture of bacteria and yeast that work together to produce a drink that is thick, slightly effervescent, and packed with beneficial nutrients. 
It's this fermentation process that gives kefir its probiotic content, including the important lactobacillus casei. However, kefir offers more than just probiotics. It is also a rich source of calcium, protein, and various bioactive compounds that contribute to its health-promoting properties. One of the ways kefir helps to lower blood sugar is by improving digestion and nutrient absorption. The fermentation process breaks down lactose, making kefir easier to digest than regular milk, which is beneficial for those with lactose intolerance. This easier digestion also means that the body can more efficiently absorb the nutrients in kefir, including its protein and calcium, both of which play a role in maintaining stable blood sugar levels. Kefir also helps to reduce inflammation in the body, which is a key factor in the development and progression of diabetes. There are many delicious and versatile ways to enjoy kefir, making it easy to incorporate into your daily routine. You can drink it on its own as a creamy, refreshing beverage, perhaps adding a touch of honey or a handful of berries for natural sweetness. Kefir can also be blended into smoothies, providing a probiotic-rich base that pairs well with fruits, vegetables, and other superfoods. Number four, Lactobacillus plantarum, kimchi. Kimchi, the traditional Korean dish made from fermented vegetables, is not only a staple in Korean cuisine, but also a powerful food for those looking to manage their blood sugar levels and combat diabetes. The fermentation process of kimchi primarily involves lactic acid bacteria, notably Lactobacillus plantarum, which contributes significantly to its probiotic properties. This bacterium enhances the food's health benefits, including its potential to lower blood sugar levels. One of the ways kimchi can help lower blood sugar levels is through its high fiber content. The vegetables used in kimchi, particularly cabbage, are rich in fiber, which slows down the digestion and absorption of carbohydrates. Kimchi's nutritional profile is further enhanced by the presence of antioxidants found in the garlic, ginger, and chili peppers used in its preparation. These antioxidants help to reduce inflammation, a common issue in those with diabetes. Incorporating kimchi into your diet can be done in various delicious ways. One popular method is to serve it as a side dish with meals, complementing rice, meats, or fish. Its tangy flavor enhances the overall taste of the meal while providing probiotic benefits. Another option is to use kimchi as an ingredient in soups and stews. Adding kimchi to dishes, like kimchi jjigae, kimchi stew, not only enriches the flavor, but also boosts the nutritional profile of the meal. Number five, Bifidobacterium longum, miso soup. Miso soup, a traditional Japanese dish known for its warm, savory flavor, is not only a comforting meal, but also a valuable ally in managing blood sugar levels and fighting diabetes. While the probiotic Bifidobacterium longum is one of the beneficial bacteria present in miso, it is the food itself that holds the key to its health-promoting properties. Miso, the key ingredient in miso soup, is a fermented paste made from soybeans, salt, and a mold called koji, often from rice, barley, or soybeans. The fermentation process gives miso its distinctive umami flavor and packs it with beneficial enzymes, vitamins, and minerals. One of the ways miso soup can help lower blood sugar is through its high content of fermented soy. Soybeans are a great source of protein, which helps to slow down the absorption of sugar in the bloodstream, leading to more stable blood sugar levels. Miso soup is also low in calories and fat, making it an ideal choice for those looking to maintain a healthy weight, which is crucial for managing diabetes. Miso can be used as a marinade for fish or tofu, infusing your meals with its rich, savory flavor, while providing the benefits of fermented soy. You can also mix miso into salad dressings, giving your greens a flavorful boost. Number six, Bacillus subdecilis, natto. While natto contains the probiotic Bacillus subdolus, which plays a role in its fermentation, it is the food itself that offers a wealth of benefits, particularly for those looking to manage blood sugar levels and fight diabetes. Natto is made by fermenting soybeans with Bacillus subtilis, resulting in a dish that is rich in protein, vitamins, minerals, and enzymes. One of the key components of natto is natto kinase, an enzyme produced during fermentation that has been linked to various health benefits, including improved circulation and reduced blood pressure. However, for those concerned with diabetes, 
Natto's impact on blood sugar regulation is particularly noteworthy. The protein and fiber content in natto contribute to its ability to stabilize blood sugar levels. Protein, found abundantly in soybeans, slows the digestion of carbohydrates, leading to a more gradual release of glucose into the bloodstream. Natto's is also rich in vitamin K2, which plays a role in bone health and cardiovascular health, both of which are important for individuals with diabetes. Traditionally, natto is eaten over a bowl of steamed rice, often with a bit of soy sauce, mustard, or chopped green onions to enhance its flavor. For those new to natto, mixing it with rice or incorporating it into a rice bowl with other ingredients, like avocado, egg, or nori, can help balance its strong taste and sticky texture. Natto can also be added to salads, where its unique texture adds an interesting contrast to fresh greens and vegetables. Number seven, Bifidobacterium brevet pickles. While the probiotic Bifidobacterium brevet is often associated with the health benefits of pickles, the food itself offers a range of advantages that make it a valuable part of a diabetes-friendly diet. Pickles are typically made by fermenting cucumbers in a brine of water, vinegar, salt, and various spices. This fermentation process not only preserves the cucumbers, but also enhances their nutritional profile, creating a food that is low in calories, yet rich in vitamins, minerals, and probiotics. One of the key ways pickles can help lower blood sugar levels is through their low carbohydrate content. Because pickles are essentially cucumbers that have undergone fermentation, they retain the fiber and low calorie nature of the original vegetable while adding the benefits of fermentation. The vinegar used in pickling is another important factor. Studies have shown that vinegar can improve insulin sensitivity and help lower blood sugar levels after meals. Pickles also make an excellent addition to sandwiches, adding both texture and a burst of flavor. Whether you're making a classic deli sandwich or a vegetarian wrap, a few slices of pickle can elevate the dish making it more satisfying while also providing the health benefits associated with fermented foods. Number eight, Lactobacillus reiteri. Reiteri, yogurt. Yogurt, particularly varieties enriched with the probiotic Lactobacillus reiteri, offers a delicious and nutritious way to support blood sugar management and combat diabetes. This fermented dairy product is not only a source of probiotics, but also provides essential nutrients like protein, calcium, and B vitamins, making it a beneficial addition to a balanced diet. The fermentation process involved in making yogurt enhances its digestibility and nutrient availability. While the presence of Lactobacillus reiteri has been linked to improved insulin sensitivity and increased secretion of incretin hormones, these hormones play a crucial role in regulating blood sugar levels by stimulating insulin release from the pancreas in response to food intake. Research indicates that regular consumption of yogurt containing Lactobacillus reiteri can lead to significant reductions in blood glucose levels and improvements in overall glycemic control, particularly in individuals with type 2 diabetes. One of the key ways yogurt helps to lower blood sugar levels is through its high protein content. This helps to prevent the sharp spikes in blood sugar that can be problematic for people with diabetes. Yogurt's natural combination of protein, fat, and carbohydrates also makes it a satisfying food that can help control appetite and prevent overeating. By keeping hunger in check, yogurt can support healthy weight management, which is an important factor in maintaining stable blood sugar levels. A simple bowl of plain yogurt can be transformed with the addition of fresh fruits, nuts, and seeds, creating a nutritious breakfast or snack that balances flavors and textures while providing sustained energy throughout the day. Yogurt can also be used as a base for smoothies, blending seamlessly with fruits, vegetables, and other superfoods to create a drink that is both satisfying and supportive of blood sugar management. You can also check out my other video that talks about getting high blood sugar without eating sugar. We want to hear from you. Share your experiences below in the comments below and turn on the notification bell.